Hi, my name is Ron Honig. I'm an aquaculture research scientist here at the University of Miami Experimental Hatchery. And today we're going to talk about some of the fish we grow here. Aquaculture is the production of fish, fish farming. So we're growing seafood for human consumption. And a lot of the research we're doing here is looking at new marine species, so saltwater fish, that can help produce the fish that, that people need to eat in the future. So we're looking at ways to make this more environmentally friendly and ecologically sustainable so that we all have healthy seafood to eat in the future. So what we have here are cobia. And they are one day old. They just hatched last night. And we can see them here in this beaker. So they're extremely small. And this is what's called a larval fish. And what we do is we hatch the eggs here in our hatchery, and then we grow them out. And just this morning, we packed up 20,000 fish and sent them to a farm in Panama that we work with. So in about 35 days, those fish will turn into little juveniles like you see here. We have a few left. It didn't quite make the airplane. And then, in about another 15 days, they grow to this size. And we feed them a pellet diet. So to get from that one day old fish to a juvenile fish like this, we have to grow live plankton or little marine organisms that just sort of drift in the water. So all those tiny specks of dust you see there are little animals. So we produce these here in the lab to feed to our larval fish and then in about 10 days, we transition them onto Artemia, which is a brine shrimp. So you're sea monkeys. We get eggs and we hatch them out, and then we feed them to our little larval fish. And then gradually, we transition them on to a dry feed, a little micro pellet. And then from that point on, you feed them larger and larger pellets during the production process. So you guys just saw uh, our little baby fish inside our greenhouse where we hatch out the eggs and, and raise up the little larval fish. Now we're at our big outside tanks where we hold our breeding fish. So these fish are much larger and we have these, these nice big tanks to make them feel comfortable and safe. And we try to take the best care we can because we want them to be happy and content to give us eggs. That's their purpose here. So we went out and caught some wild fish. These are American red snapper. They're about 15 to 20 pounds. Let's see if they can come up here. And we went and caught these guys from the wild and brought them here and, and uh, acclimated them to captivity. So we got them nice and comfortable here. And they started spawning for us. And this past spawning season, which was uh, July through September, or actually through October, we had over six million eggs from these fish. And we took them into our hatchery and we reared them up. And so what happens is these fish will spawn in the tank, they release their eggs and fertilize them, and those eggs float. And there's a nice gentle current in the tank that, that skims them off into this side tank. And then we can come out here in the morning and take our little dip net and scoop around in the tank and collect our eggs and take them in to hatch them in our, ha in our greenhouse. And from there, we grow out lots of little juveniles, which we'll see at our next stop. Take a look at our adult American red snapper. And now we'll see the, the juveniles, the young ones that we grew here in the hatchery. These fish are a little over 100 days old. And we successfully produced about 30,000 of these, which is the most that have ever been produced in captivity. And it's very exciting because red snapper is a very popular food fish and it's a very heavily managed fishery. So there's lots of closed seasons and, you know, the fishermen can't go out and catch them and the 
markets can't sell them. So that's why we're very excited about being able to potentially develop this species for production here in the U.S. It's very, in very high demand. So these guys uh, are about 10 grams and about 100 days old. So we do a lot of aquaculture research here, trying to find better ways to grow fish. And why this is really important for us right now is that people eat a lot of seafood and our oceans are overfished. The habitats out in the wild are under extreme pressure from, from human development and activities. So if we wanna keep eating fish in the future, we need to be able to farm it and we need to be able to farm it in better and better ways. So being more efficient in how we do things, being cleaner in how we do things. And that's what a lot of the research that's going on here at the University of Miami is dedicated towards, making it more efficient and environmentally sustainable so that we can have nice, clean, healthy fish for the future.